to start us off today, we're going to play the Sun Song for sculptural hunting purposes. We're coming up on one that requires it to be nighttime in order to be caught. And once that's done, remember what we're supposed to do here. Get over to that platform and play Zelda's Lullaby, which will allow us to enter Zora's Domain. I remember the first time I played that game, I thought the waterfall would stay open forever, and I would I, I would only need to do this once, and I was really pissed when I realized, oh, you're gonna have to do this every time you want to enter. So, now that this is done, let's go into Zora's Domain, and... It's all frozen over, so Ganondorf's evil hand has gotten here too. Um, that's not good. We were supposed to meet up with King Zora to get uh, the eye drops, and he's frozen too. Great, just great. But for the time being, let's just over to where the waterfall used to be. And, okay, here should be enough. And there's a skull chiller right here that you can only obtain from this point. Even if you have the long shot and you try uh, killing that skull chiller from the base of the waterfall, it's still not going to be long enough. So, anyway, King Zora trapped in red ice. So what do you think we're going to need to thaw him out? If you guessed blue fire, come and claim your prize. So now we're on a mission to go and find some blue fire. As I recall, you can buy some blue fire in the in some shops, but it's extremely expensive. So I'm just going to save myself that crap ton of rupees and go to the ice cavern instead to get the, that to get that blue fire. And I'm forced to come here as part of the uh, as part of the story anyway. So I'm just going to knock this mini dungeon out early. Ow! Didn't think that um, those uh, Octoroks would be a factor, but apparently they wanted it on the action too. Um, yeah, there was that um, heart piece over there, completely unguarded, one of the easiest in the game. There's another one that's nearby, but uh, you need the iron boots in order to get to it, uh, which is what we're going to be getting, uh, aside from the, the blue fire, of course. Uh, so yeah, this is the Ice Cavern. It's not a full-fledged dungeon. It's more of a mini-dungeon because it's very small, only one floor and a few rooms. Those things here, really annoying if they get to freeze you, so... Um, you gotta be careful when fighting these. You know, uh... Don't do what I did. Do what I say. That wasn't careful at all. Anyway, you don't wanna walk into that ice spray, otherwise it'll freeze you. Ow! Come on! Reappear, please! Where are you? Okay, there we go. So now you just gotta kill. No, don't run away! Thank you! So that's one room down, and uh, now we're gonna have another little hallway here, and after that, I'm just going to see if there are any hearts. Thank you. Needed it after getting frozen so many times. Well, I only got frozen like once, but... <laughs> Whatever, it still hurts a lot getting frozen. Anyway, this room is the introduction of a new type of puzzle. Grab the five silver rupees to advance. And there's also a gold sculpture up here. As if you couldn't tell by the sound of... But, um, anyway. Uh, yeah, you gotta collect those five silver rupees in order to be able to advance to the, to the next room. Gotta avoid those, uh... I see spinning blades as well. Thank God they're visible, because yes, we're gonna have to deal with invisible ones later on in the game. But for now, it's not quite that annoying to deal with. Uh, yeah, so, by the way, those silver rupees are also worth five rupees if your wallet isn't full already, so you can also make some money on the side by just solving those puzzles. And now, this room, okay, after another hallway, sort of structured like a Metroid Prime game, you know, it alternates between hallways and larger rooms. But anyway, this room here uh, marks the introduction of... Wow, I didn't, I didn't get fr I didn't get frozen by that! I wonder how that happened, maybe because I fell down the ledge, but um, nah, I'm not complaining, I'm gonna take it. But yeah, those are ice keys. If they touch you, they freeze you. Simple as... Like that! 
He can be fighting another monster and it'll just come out of nowhere and freeze you. And after that, you get chain frozen by... Oh, God. This part is rather annoying, I gotta say. It's definitely harder than anything we've encountered so far in the game. And... Oh, wow! Navi actually was useful for once! Not because of the advice, but because... As she allowed me to see that uh, ice keys coming towards me. Okay, so now that this is done, blue fire. You need you need bottles to carry it, which means I'm going to have to empty all my bottles because we're gonna need a lot of blue fire in this dungeon. We're also gonna need some to thaw out the King Zora, and we're also going to need some to gain access to the to the shop in Zora's domain as well. So, now that all three fairies are out, it's time to grab some uh, blue fire, uh, which is, according to the flavor text, a cool flame. Yeah, I wonder how that works. I wonder if it's even scientifically possible, a cool flame. I would love to say that it's impossible, but as they say, technology is incredible! So, maybe it's possible, I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you for... Freezing me again? God, this thing's annoying. Whoa! Whoa! That was close. That was really close. Okay. Now, move in and attack! There we go. Now, um, right here, we got the dungeon map. Uh, I, uh, when I used to play this for the first few times, I only came this far in the dungeon and backed out immediately in order to rescue King Zora and get, uh, my eyeballs. Uh, did I say eyeballs? Eye dross? God damn, I'm stupid. And I wouldn't be surprised if I said uh, eyeballs too when I was talking about it earlier on. Whoa! That was sort of close. Thank God I reacted to it in time. So let's grab some more blue fire. But yeah, as I was saying before, I would often back out from this dungeon immediately and just go rescue King Zora and leave the rest for later. But uh, nowadays I think it's a waste of time to do that since you gotta go and refill your blue fire all over again. Uh, now just hang on a sec, I'm just gonna check the map, see where I'm supposed to go next. Okay, I wanna go into that dead end room over there. Okay, so I gotta go right over there. So yeah, as I was saying, it's better to just do the, this place in its entirety at this point. It's not like it's a very long dungeon to begin with. So, let's um, go into this room. This room is jam-packed with stuff. Even though it's completely optional and it's a dead end, you got a piece of heart over here. Whoa! I, I didn't spin the control stick. I wonder how that happened. That was not intentional, but, but yeah, there's a piece of heart there. You can hear um, a gold sculptula, so I'm going to pull out the hook shot, back out once more. Excuse, excuse me, that wasn't intentional either. I just tripped on the L button. Anyway, it's right there, so there we go. And there's also... Um, there's also blue fire right there, guarded by a key. Regular one, thankfully. So, let's grab some more of this. And on the opposite side of the piece of heart, there... there well, there are two keys. I'm gonna kill them with the hook shot before they start annoying me further. There we go. And there's a compass in this uh, chest, so... Yeah, dungeon map and compass for such a small dungeon. Pretty much unnecessary, though I guess I used the map in order to be able to figure out which one was the dead end and which one was the was the remainder or was the remainder of the dungeon. Sorry, whenever I try to speak any faster than I usually do, I always fail miserably. So now let's fill up our bottles with the blue fire once more. I'm, I'm sorry if this is not very entertaining, you know, just filling my bottles over and over, but this is pretty much necessary if you want to do this dungeon. Uh, wait a minute, why, why, is my ener why is my energy full? I just got hit by a stalactite. Oh well, not complaining. <laughs> okay, and by the way, something new 
in that's introduced in this place, a live pot that charge at you, they will more often than not have um, have uh, hearts inside them, so... Um, well, I would say it's beneficial to actually let them hit you, but you can just pull up your shield and you won't take any damage at all, just in case they don't have hearts. So, we got lots of ice keys to deal with here. So I'm gonna have to kill them all because this is a rather annoying puzzle room and I don't want to be frozen all the time while doing this puzzle. So, over here. Thank you! Okay, now there's one more that went all the way over there. Okay, so now that we got rid of these, there's uh, the third and last gold skull chilla for this place. So once again, pulling out the hook shot. Yeah. Item swapping is sort of annoying, you know, having to swap between the bottles and the hook shot and stuff, but it's nowhere near as annoying as in the Water Temple, where you gotta constantly change boots. Okay, so now that we've gotten all the gold sculptures in this place, it's time to get started on this puzzle. Yeah, you, it's the kind of puzzle where you push an ice block and you use it to get places like this to grab silver rupees. Thank you, I was wondering why wasn't climbing. Come on, get up. Thank you. Okay, so now, okay, I think you want to push that over there. Yeah, I see a silver rupee in the, in the distance. So this is going to be the third one. Just use some blue fire. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's just it's just really difficult to commentate over, you know, those really boring parts. But uh, anyway, now you want to push that block down here since it served its purpose. By the way, don't fall down in those holes, else you're going to be restarting, not at the entrance to this room, at the entrance to the dungeon. The entire freaking dungeon, and you don't want that to happen. So, okay, now just want to go very carefully over there because I don't want to have a repeat of uh, my misadventures in Donkey Kong Country where I thought I was perfectly immobile and then all of a sudden I fall down a hole and die the, and as I said this is not a very good uh, this is not a very good time to be experimenting with the idea you know having to go back all the way to the entrance so now that I got all five silver rupees, push that over there, then over there, because I want to uh, refill my blue fire some more. I'm gonna need three, uh, three of these flames from now on. One to get to the boss of this dungeon, and two others for use in Zora's domain. So I'm just going to refill this bottle. And after that, I guess I'm going to bring up the third one instead of the hook shot and do it all over again. God dang, I apologize. My commentary really sucks today, but I'm not given very good material here. So now, we're pretty much done with this outing, so just push it down there, let it respawn, and now we can go over to the exit. Now, I don't think my way of doing it is the real way the way that the game designers intended for me to do it, but whatever, it works, so I'm going to do it the quick, easy way. Push that over there. You're going to see what I mean pretty soon. Now, push that there, and once again over there, and uh, you're going to see that uh, it's gone past the point where I'd like it to be, but it doesn't matter. You can just put it push it over there, sorry, and go up here, and it's not a very difficult jump, you know, making it from here, even though I don't think you're meant to do that, not very difficult. So, uh, this is the hallway that leads to the boss of this place, so uh, we're almost out of time, so we're going to be dealing with the boss next time. You may be wondering, what kind of, what kind of horrors lurk behind this door? Well, I got a surprise for you. It's not an enemy that freezes you. Yeah, I know. Surprised me too. All right. See you next time for the boss of the ice cavern.